It is a draft settlement only. It states that the city will pay Richard's disposal $4.8 million to keep collecting the trash while the two sides keep fighting it out in court. But several city council members made it clear they're not happy about it. I do know that there's a back and forth and private and public, just uh, the whole thing. Sarah Jane Alston in Belhaven says she has tried to avoid the legal fighting over the city's garbage contract and just wants them to quit fighting and pick up the trash. I do because I really would like for them to get along down there and, and do make the right choices because you don't know how much it's going to cost you. The mayor's choice of collecting garbage in Jackson, Richard's disposal, continues to create controversy after threatening to cut off garbage collection in the city last week unless it got paid. It is the subject of a long, drawn-out legal fight between Richard's disposal that goes on. Even though the city council and Richard's worked out a temporary settlement, the city pays $4.8 million to the company, and it keeps collecting garbage, at least for now. This is chaos. We don't have to be here. We didn't have to be here. There was never a vote taken for a settlement. At no time. It won't be finalized until all parties have accepted and the judge has signed off on the final settlement. Several council members made it clear they do not want to sign off on a long-term deal with the company that the mayor forced into the city's garbage collection role. A rally by Richard Sunday hoped to drive through their position that they want a six-year deal. Everything that's gone on since January 18 of this year should not have gone on. Because on January 18, Richard's disposal should have gotten the six-year contract done deal over and done with because it had the best and lowest proposal. But that is not how the council apparently sees it, perhaps poised to sign off on this temporary garbage collection deal while they continue their legal fighting in both state and federal courts. I want to go with the, the way the RFP was originally set up. If you don't get, the, if the mayor doesn't get his first choice, then you go to the, the next ranked uh, vendor that had presented an, uh, a proposal. This is not the way to operate government. Uh, you can't just bring in someone, put them to work, and then they force you to pay them. I reached out to the mayor's office for comment on this settlement, but I was told they have no comment because, quote, they have not seen the written agreement. That is true because it first has to be approved by the federal courts before the parties can have a look at it. The Jackson City Council meets here tomorrow. They are expected to go into executive session to talk about this latest legal bump in the long-running garbage collection road in Jackson, Mississippi. Live at the uh, City Hall, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.